Welcome back now. The eyes of the country will be in Croke Park this afternoon as Limerick and Galway prepare to lock horns in one of the most eagerly anticipated All-Ireland hurling finals for years. So who better than former Galway hurling and football star Alan Kearns to talk about the big match and how hurling fans can help the less well-off and maybe he'll even teach us a few tricks. Good morning to you. Great to have morning, you on with us this morning, Alan. How are you? You? you don't need to learn any tricks. You know how to play uh, already. Well, I am from Donegal. It's not exactly a hurling stronghold, <laughs> uh, to paraphrase Michal Omar Hartig. Uh, we do want to talk about the Croke Park challenge uh, charity challenge so yeah. alan um which which has just been launched and people who people who, who know you will know you've been involved in raising funds for africa for for years now it's 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 it's, it's been a passion and this is um your latest uh, plan so tell us about it what's happening this year in october october 23rd yeah um yeah i suppose you know crow park is a magic place and today is a, is a magic day and not very many people are lucky enough to experience that. So we want people who have dreamed of playing in Crow Park, because millions do dream, but very few are lucky enough to get the chance. So I want to give people the chance, and we want to give people the chance to experience what it's like to play in Crow Park, and we're going to create an All-Ireland Final Day experience. So for people, and they can play along with their, their heroes, such as Cullum Cooper, Henry Shefflin. Um, it's Martha football, Sh by the way. It's football, yeah. it is football, it is football yeah. Yeah, yeah. And it's... Uh, a lot of celebrities from the entertainment, the political world. This year it's Mayo um, Cork jersey, so he's into Kennedy and Michal Martin as the All opposing right. managers. They're going head to head again. Yeah. You have some fun names in there Bernard yeah. Dunn, Anna Geary, Sonia Sullivan, Henry Shefflin, as you mentioned earlier on. Alan, this Croke Park Char Charity Challenge sounds like a great event, but obviously you are raising money with, yeah. you know, for great purpose as well. So where are the funds on the day going to go? The funds are going. So my own charity was Alan Curran's project, and that was going on for about 12 or 13 years. And two or three years ago, we merged with Self of Africa. Which, which is allowing us to do a lot more work now. Um, so it's going towards our work with Self Help Africa in many African countries, um, helping s small sustainable farmers basically trying to get access to market. Okay. And we also have several um, social enterprises we're developing, which is lot making factories, um, um, guest houses. These are social enterprises which create local jobs boost the local economy and all the profits from these businesses then go back into the home for disabled children, the schools, the farming projects, the food security projects that we run. So we're trying to make it uh, far more self-sustainable and mm -hmm. you know, we're trying to generate a lot of the money locally by boosting local economies as well. It's clear to see how passionate you are. And it, mm. This was thanks to a trip back. Was it 2004 when you first went over to Zambia? Yeah, 2005. Oh, I spent three true. months there as a physiotherapist with an inspiring Irish missionary nun. And she was running this home for disabled children and she stood for a physio. So I was just blown away by her story and what she was doing. And I was just inspired by her to try and help her, first of all. Mm. Um, and my only ambition coming home was to raise 5,000 euros for a borehole for clean drinking water because there was a famine there at the time and she was feeding 800 families but then five grand became 500 grand became five million and uh, 15 years later, 13 years later. Yeah, yeah, later. To make, can, can you even begin to think back then like what, you, what you've raised and the difference that, that, that has made in, in people's lives? Um, yeah, it's, I suppose when you look back now it's phenomenal but um, I always say um, the people we help are the real heroes, like the, the missionaries or our, or our partners, because they are out there 24 hours a day. They've given up their lives and dedicated to people um, less well off. I'm here. I was playing hurling or football. Yeah. I was in a privileged position. Um, and the GAA in particular, and the sporting community in particular, and the Irish people have been you know, incredibly generous. And the Irish mm. people are just so, so generous. And even during recession, when, when you know so many causes you know, deserving causes here, mm. they still manage to support us as well um, and help families thousands of miles away. And but I suppose you would look at it as five million euro, which is an incredible amount mm. of money to raise, but there's always more to be done, isn't there? And then I suppose this is where the Croke Park Charity Challenge comes in because it was so successful the last couple of times you did it. The last time was it 2013, 2013 you were saying? 2013, yeah. Yeah, and brilliant fun on the day. And yeah. um, there's lo people get loads in their package yeah. in terms of your DVDs and yeah. uh, police escort to Croke Park. So you're yeah. making... So we want to create a Carl's Book yeah. Day. Yeah, like we, yeah. You police escort the buses to the final like the players get. Me Hall and Murr, I think is commentating on the match day DVD. You've all the match day yeah. kit, a full, yeah, you have a full replica uh, match day program like all Ireland final day, your pin pick and buy you in it with all the celebs. Um, you have a free bar in the players' lounge afterwards, news talk of broadcasting off the ball. Um, then we have a gala dinner that night with Connor sketches, Rory stories, Bioga are confirmed now who toured with Ed Sheeran, um, and we have the real Sunday game, and they'll do a 
uh, a mark oh, for the game. Oh, wow. <laughs> what an experience. Yeah. Like, it's, it's aimed, it's, it's kind of thing businesses might be interested in getting yes, involved in. Yes, bringing clients like, along, or people can individually fundraise for the event. There's different packages there. We have a good few guys coming home from the US and, and, and all overseas who, who really want to play in the yeah. game as well. How can people get the information on this, Alan? Yes, they can log on to www.selfupafrica.org and look up the Crow Park event. All the details are on the are online there. There is a, a Crow Park event today yes. as well. First mm -hmm. question, got a ticket? I have. <laughs> got a spare? <laughs> That's like a question. You asked me half an hour ago. Uh, I know, yeah. Listen, uh, clearly, I mean, your, your, your colours are, you know, yes, loyalty exactly. is going away. How do you actually think it's going to go as a um, game? You know, I hope it's a really, it's a really close, really good, good game because the season has been mm. so spectacular. It deserves a brilliant final. And I hope God will come out on the other end. I think it will be close. Um, you know, two very good teams, and I'm hoping just go always experience might edge. Might see them over the yeah. line. It's a very yeah. diplomatic response. Yeah, it is. You have to be. Um, <laughs> you have raised lots of money for charity. You have done amazing things uh, in your career as a hurler and footballer. But now the ultimate challenge awaits you. You are going to uh, teach our Laura and the waiting <laughs> Mr. Delaney over there. <laughs> Uh, a few skills of the great game of hurling. I'll ask you to make your way over to Simon. He well, looks like he knows what he's doing, yeah. Alan. I think he'll be okay. He's a former Parnell's man, he says. So. <laughs> no, but Long time ago. Yeah, Current I, Parnell's man. My hurling career lasted about 15 minutes, Alan. <laughs> Good to see you. Um, so you're going to show us a few basic skills, are you? Yeah. I mean, I clearly know them all, Alan, so you might just show Laura there, would you? Great, Which ones would you like to show you? Well, I suppose the pull, huh? The pull? Yeah, that one. So... Yep, yep, I... You're well able to pick it. Try right, Laura, off you go. Uh, well, can I just hold the... Yeah, so you're holding yeah. the hurley. The hurley. Yeah. <laughs> the the hurley. hurley. Yeah. So to, to, Not my finest moment. So how do we hold it? So to, yeah, you just hold it. So for, for, to, to pick the ball. Yeah. Yeah, um, yeah you're holding it perfectly. Okay. Put the two thumbs um, that way, Down Laura, like yeah. this, down like this, and yeah. And then you got to bend your back. And, okay. and they, t they, teach the, they teach the kids these days to re a lot of them go like that and they can't pick it, but they teach them to go really so down. They're digging up the garden, are they? Yeah, they're digging oh, really? the grass. So get the hurley really down low, parallel to the ground, and your, one f your feet work like this, yeah. and then just scoop up. Okay, and do loads of people do this in high heels, Alan, do you think? Or? Well, I I'm nights out, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> Very oh, good. There you go. okay. Except you forgot the ball. But what? <laughs> Why was I doing the old-fashioned job then? I was doing the old scoopy yeah, job. Yeah, you can do that. Well, that's for more or less when you're in a ruck and people are around you. You can just do it that, like that. Oh, so when you're on, when you're on the run, like most people will be today, you just have to scoop you it. Have to get down low, scoop it up. And can you teach us anything that will, looks really impressive that we can? That you can show do. off. Can show Maybe off. you could just hold the hurdle and. Oh, wow. Scoop it under. Right, come on, okay. have a go. I'm going to stand now, where, over where here. Where am I scooping it to? Black eye. That's not bad. Not bad. <laughs> yeah, that's not bad. Ball's <laughs> over there. Sorry. Sorry. Thanks very much. <laughs> Sorry about that, Alan. We're absolutely useless, sir. Well done. Well done. Well, try the, um, you, so you should hold it that and just... Oh, I'm going to get a, a, gonna get a black eye. Uh, so you do... Uh, listen, I can't even follow that with my eye. <laughs> Dan, what about just doing the simple thing you did? I'll do a little bit of... With the yeah. shutter. Okay, just go with that, Laura. Two hands at that. Just OK, up yeah, down. see? Now that's basics. Well, come on, try that. Just keep your eye on the ball and... There you go. There you go. Excellent. Brilliant. Well done. Then you get a tackle. Some big 16 stall fellow named Rick jumping in on top of you. Can you still do it? <laughs> no, I don't think so. My goodness, what and an incredible game. A pull. Right, come on, try so a pull. You have to try. So when you're pulling, are you left handed, right? So the most well, important thing when you're, pull, when you're doing a pull is that you get shoulder to shoulder. Okay. And as close as possible because if you stand back and pull out, yeah, you'll get the upswing. Yeah, you're going to get a swing. smack. Yeah, right, yeah. So you okay. need to get shoulder and pull, yeah. You ready? Here, yeah. right, should so I? So what am I doing now? You're just going to pull with me. Okay. Well, but get in close. Okay. Once. When you say pull at you, what do you mean now? <laughs> hit the ball and I'll hit the ball as well. All right. One, You're both going two, for it. Here, can I? Oh. <laughs> ah, nice. <laughs> <laughs> this is, could go all pear shapes. There's only one pressure here. <laughs> no, I'm okay. I'll That's hold great. off for the but moment. But you're dead right about getting in close, yeah. otherwise you're going to get and that. what some people will do then, if, if they don't want to pull and want to win the ball, yeah. they'll, if you pull there, Simon. Yeah. Um, pull, yeah, so I'm going in there. You went and blocked the pull and Very then good. scoop it out into space and See? spread it out. See, you have a great Tips teacher. We're a disaster, but you're great. Alan, Tips. the best of luck on All October 23rd. Uh, Thanks, we've got Alan. details up on our friends. Facebook as well and enjoy the match much. today. Thank you. Uh, coming up after the break, we've got more autumnal wear, so see you in a few minutes. Very Come good. try this again. There you go. There you go.